Marks and Spencer has been one of the most famous shops in the UK for over 125 years. Today, the department store is found in almost every major UK town, and it has become part of British life. But who were Marks and Spencer? Michael Marks was a businessman. He was an immigrant from Belarus, and he came to England in 1882. He moved to Leeds. Here he met another businessman called Isaac Dewhurst, who worked from a building which is still called the Dewhurst Building today. In 1884, Marx borrowed five pounds from Dewhurst and started a market stall here at Kirkgate Market. It was incredibly successful, and so. Marx opened several more stalls. He wanted to expand the business, but he needed a partner. He asked Isaac Dewhurst, but he was too busy. Dewhurst recommended one of his senior employees instead, Thomas Spencer. Thomas Spencer was born in Skipton, Yorkshire. He quickly agreed to join Marx. And invested three hundred pounds in the company. On the twenty-eighth of September, eighteen ninety-four, Marks and Spencer was created. The partnership was an overwhelming success, and throughout the twentieth century, the business grew. Today, there are over seven hundred Marks and Spencer stores in the UK. And over 400 international stores in more than 50 territories. Marks and Spencer sells all kinds of things. They've got many brands of fashionable clothing for men, women, and children, and they sell all kinds of delicious food. In fact, they've even got their own bank and energy services. It's incredible to think that it all started here, on a small market stall in Leeds. Today, you can visit the Marks and Spencer Heritage Stall. The stall, which looks like one of the original Marks and Spencer penny bazaars, is situated next to the market's famous Marks and Spencer clock. There's also a fantastic Marks and Spencer archive, where visitors can learn all about the iconic company's history. So, what happened to the original Mr. Marks and Mr. Spencer? Well, Thomas Spencer retired in 1903 to follow his life dream of becoming a farmer. Michael Marx became a British citizen in 1897. He continued to develop the business for the rest of his life. Michael Marx and Thomas Spencer were unlikely business partners, but together they created one of the most popular shops in the country. <laughs> 